Okay, so I saw this in the store when I was there today. So it was three pots on one of these little shelf things. And I was like, that is perfect for my color pencils. I really have enjoyed having them out. So I'm going to get that. So I got two of them. Uh, oh, it's not ah! package. Uh, package delivered. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, got these six ones and I think it looks really nice. I decided to not use the trays because it looked a little bit heavy, but I really like it. However, they don't fit like the the pot that I have here for black, gray, and brown mark uh, pens pencils is just too many. And I know that <laughs> like people say like this is a container. So if you're going to say that this is the container, then you just need to take out until it fits. Uh, I'm just not about that because. Nope. So I got my brother <laughs> before he left um, because his school is quite close to his shop. Uh, I got him to buy <laughs> another set. <laughs> so um, number seven will have to be for like black and gray. Uh, and then I have two more. So yeah, I just feel a little bit better because right now in here I have um, the Brute Furniture Squares. I also have the Pro Color 72 set, and then just assortment of random uh, the Derwent drawing ink tents, and then just a lot of miscellaneous watercolor pencils that I don't really use that much. But I'm thinking if they're out, I might use them more. Um, so, and I feel like this looks neat. Like it looks nice that they're all out, which hoping so not sure if I'm going to use the rest of the two the color pencils I have other uses for them so <laughs> no worries with it there um but yeah so I'm really happy I did that for me oh and also in one of them I found this should we open it together they have changed the packaging since I was a kid because they were hard to open when I was a kid has some wheels. I'm, I'm not really sure what this little guy is supposed to do. Let's be completely honest, it just looks like this poor sheep has some serious anal sac issues. I think you can scan this QR if you want to and then you get to play the game, I guess. So if you want to play a game with my little sheep here, then just, uh, just scan this code. <laughs> so here is the ledge. Before we just a lot of random, pretty but random, random stuff. <laughs> Some random stuff is still here, but the pots, I just use the color pencils so much more. It's the weekend and as always I'm here, so <laughs> let's do a project. Um, I recently got a little haul from Jackson and I had ordered this sketchbook by Fabriano it is hot press. I don't like hot press, but I'm going to use it. However, the first page is just a very thin piece of paper and I don't like it. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is some chipboard, a nice piece of green paper. So I'm just going to cut it to A4 and then these, uh, I have a, a punching thing. So I'm just going to do that. has not snowed in two days so yeah I think 
I have no idea what's going on. But today, oh, there's also a ball here. <clears throat> okay, so today I'm going to start by making my least, one of my least favorite paints to make. Now, I like this paint, of course, because I make it, but I, uh, I'm not like it's not one of my favorite paints to make because it is very staining and uh it is annoying to make because i will end up that color but i have done all that i can to get myself to make it i have mentally prepared myself i have um bribed myself with some stuff that hopefully will be coming tomorrow i got myself some other staining stuff I got some ink tense pencils, which I'm really excited about. Uh, and I have also made sure I have lunch that is ready. So, in theory, all I need to do is make the damn paint, go and shower right away so I don't mess anything up, uh, and then have lunch. So, I have made life as easy as I possibly can to make Draco. Now, am I making a bigger deal than it actually is? No, I, I don't think I am because I always turn green. <laughs> if I make Helena or Caspian, it's the same. It's just working with phthalos, you turn phthalo. And as in theory, it's kind of fun. Um, it's not very fun because what, like inside in the actual house, uh, we have a lot of white, like white painted wood. Um, and and even though it's staining and you feel like it doesn't come off, it does come off onto the walls and to bed sheets and everything. So, and also it turns like to like the mouse and the keyboard <laughs> and everything. So, when we need to make phthalo paint, you need to make it, get out, wash, and then. And it's also also the other thing that's really annoying with it is that because the particle they many of these pigments most of them when you add a binder and honey you sort of like you work a little bit you mix and then it sort of melts together phthalos no they resist they resist with every pigment granule they just resist and it takes a really long time to get it into the binder. Once it's into the binder, it's almost done. Uh, it's very little mulling that is required to make phthalo paint, but it just takes forever. So more time to turn green. However, let's just let's just do it so it will be over with, and then we can just enjoy the paint and paint with it. So yes. <laughs>
uh, I made Draco and cleaned everything and I also took the opportunity to clean my fridge. <laughs> I'm not going to show before pictures because it's embarrassing. And also this one. So this one has had some stains on it and with the amazing um, power paste it comes right off with just a uh, microfiber cloth. So, And I also even cleaned inside here. Again, no before pictures, okay? <laughs> But you can see it's clean and this is my fingers and it just left some stains. So here we have the damage and I think you can tell that I was wearing gloves for a while anyway. I have not looked at my face. How bad is it? Ah, oh, I mean it's not the worst. You can see I have my mask on. Always wear your mask. Oh, I am so sweaty. Uh, it took 50 minutes to combine the pigments with the binder. But, but it's done. It's done. And I didn't even know it, but I had like uh, a whole batch of Draco with one pour in it since last time I had made it. So, it's done! I mean, I did save some paint in a jar so I can do more, but, but for August, it's done! It's done! Uh, so now I'm just going to head in and have a shower. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Oh, it's 11. So I might not have lunch, but. I'm going to have a shower. I'll see you later. Um, so, I've had a shower. I'm clean. I think I got all of the green out. Yes. I think I only have a little bit here. But, a tip. If you ever find yourself in a situation like this and you're like, Julia, no normal person ever will. But, you never know. I mean, I'm not normal and I don't assume that any of you are either, so. Uh, face scrub. Yeah, I have a really nice, uh, from the apothecary, that is just a very nice, a little bit sandy face scrub. And, uh, and then you just need to soap a lot. So. <laughs> anyway, I'm also wearing my new electric blue shirt. I just... Ah, oh, it's perfect. It's so nice and soft, but it looks kind of nice because it has a little bit of a poof in my sleeves. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I got an email. Ah, oh, okay. So on Block It, you know, like where you buy and sell stuff in Sweden, I found this amazing old table. Ah, uh, um. Uh, an old table and it has so you can put like from the tabletop and then to the floor they have like shelves where you can put books in it and I have wanted like a library uh, table. I saw one a few years ago and me and my brother have been talking about how we could make one but they are so delicate and so like just amazing and I, yesterday I found one and um, I can pick it up Tomorrow, when me and my dad are going to the other town over of Almisoas to get um, our passports done, which also, uh, that's a whole other story, like, it took forever. <laughs> but uh, I'm really, really happy about it. So, uh, but yeah, the passport thing, it's, um, we had, had planned to take a trip uh, this summer because, you know, we have been not leaving the country for quite some time and... We have some friends we would like to visit and uh, we were like okay let's do it and then we're like okay we need to get passports because i have not traveled outside the country in five six years maybe and uh my mom and dad they went out like 2019 but not since so my dad he needs to get a new passport and uh, i need to get one too and just when you start to look into things, everybody's getting 
new passports. And it was a little bit of a crisis because uh, the in Sweden you go to the police uh, office in your city and you like take your photo. I don't know what they're doing. That's that's their business, and um, they put out times, and all of a sudden, all of the times were booked up. And like, not everybody needs to get passports right now. So why are everybody like all the times booked up? Turns out, a lot of people booked the time and then were selling them like on on Facebook or on stuff. And the police were like, yeah, this is a, an, like a big thing in Sweden. Everyone talked about it, uh, that they were like all selling police times uh, on like on the black market. <laughs> and the police were like, yeah, but I mean, technically, it's not actually illegal. <laughs> Which like, I mean, I can't sort of understand. Like, why would you have a rule for something that nobody has ever tried to do before? I get that. But it just was so funny. It was a little bit frustrating, but it was so funny when the police was like, yeah, I mean, we get it that it's not good, but we don't actually think it's illegal. <laughs> okay. Um, but, but in the end, I did manage to find, so we only had to wait like two months uh, for this time. So it is tomorrow and then it takes just a few weeks and then you will get your passport. So yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, we're heading to Alingsos to do that, so I'm thinking, I think we have time at around 11, so if I type to this lady that could come between 11 and 12 something and pick it up, that would be amazing. So, and then, sorry, all of the fans are going off right now and Albert wants to come inside. Um, I'm just going to do some things and then I'm going to continue painting because uh, like I said, I, uh, this is a total like bribe day for me. Like, uh, I promised myself everything so I would make that paint. <laughs> so I'm just uh, going to work for a few hours getting um, wrap and name stickers ready for the colors that are coming out in May. And once those stuff are done uh, and everything that is prepped so I can start cleaning them tomorrow, I'm going to paint today. Uh, maybe even painting outside. I don't know. It's really nice outside. So, um, yeah, Grammy, sorry. <laughs>
Oh, it is a little bit earlier today than I normally head out. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I, I, okay, I wouldn't say that I sleep in, but I usually allow myself a slow morning. That is one of the luxuries of working from home that I very much enjoy, especially with my body being as it is. However, today, um, we are heading to get our passports done, which I'm very much excited about, but um, it means that I will be, I'm going to drive into town to meet up with my dad and I need to be with him at 10. It is 20 past 8 and I would very much like to get all of the orders that are currently in here. Get those packed. I don't think there were that many so I'm like it would, should take like an hour and I have one hour and 40 minutes. I think that should be fine. Um, so we're going to do the passports, then we're going to pick up my amazing table. I'm so excited about that bloody table. But when I found that table, I also found two chairs, like, um, I was going to say armchairs, but it's like armchairs without the arms. Uh, it's a special kind of, we call them Emma, Emma chairs. And I love Emma chairs. Uh, my aunt, she has two of them. I love them. Um, and I found a set of two uh, not too far away from here. So I was like, do you still have them? Uh, so, um, because it's not for me. I mean, it's kind of is for me, but like it's for, for my mom. Um, so, <laughs> so we are going to pick those up in the afternoon. So, Today, uh, my work work day will be a little bit of a puzzle, but I'm pretty good at puzzles, so I think I can I can hack it. It doesn't look like any too complicated orders, so we should be fine. So here we have the finds <laughs> from yesterday. So I found both of these on, on Block It. Um, and I'm just really happy. Now, I don't actually have a place to place my table, so I have let my mom <laughs> have it here. But I'm just, I, I really love it. So the table has some. Uh, woodworking it's a little bit damaged but you know who cares I don't uh, and then I just place the book for like they should you can place like a lot of books that's the point with it anyway and then I also we have been talking about finding new armchairs for this area here so you can see like sofa <laughs> and then we have this so before we redid the house this was a solid wall and then we added on that space so here was the dining table before um, how on earth we fit 20 people here I have no idea but we did um, so now we have had some armchairs and I found these and I was like these are so pretty uh, they are light and airy and they have that this lovely light yellow color and I just love this Emma chair, so we went to get those yesterday too, and because we did that, <laughs> um, first we went to uh, a town um, north of Burros to get the passports and also the table, and then in the afternoon I went with my mom to a town south of our town to pick up these 
today I am out like properly it is 11 I've just managed to get out of bed so but it makes me very happy to, <laughs> to come downstairs and to see this because I think it looks very pretty so yeah I'm going to sit in one of them and put on my socks okay so <laughs> It is about 12, but because I've just had breakfast, I was about to just, you know, get started with work and look what arrived. What I said I was bribing myself with is a little bit excessive. So, <laughs> I said I was bribing myself. Um, and this is something I've been wanting for quite some time and I was like, eh. But the other day I was talking about how cheap stuff is at computer salt. And I was, you know, doing all of the links and, and everything. And I was like, I just really want the ink tents. Now, in Sweden, uh, this 72 pack is about 12, uh, 13 to 1400 Swedish units. So about uh, 130, 140 euros. This one I paid a bit less than 60 euros for. Um, and they're like, oh, well, you saved. Well, yeah, but then I also was like, I'm just going, I mean, they are originally. <laughs> so, I mean, I still have that to spend. So, I, uh, I actually got the... <laughs> So for the price of one ten of ink tens, I got the ink tens and the color soft. I just um, but I have been, you know, changing up the way I'm storing my color pencils. I'm using them so much more, and I just love it. So, and I'm really enjoying the color soft pencils I have. So I was like, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So the color soft. And then the ink tents. I'm so excited about the ink tents. Uh, I have grown my collection quite a bit, so I will have two of some of them. But I just really, really like them. So I got that. I'm going to leave the link to Computer Cells and if you are in Sweden, but to to Tid uh, Fumiera. So, uh, they are like a stationery shop, and um, yeah, so I got a little freebie silver metallic pen, which is really nice. What I went there for, because they sell the Karen brush markers singles, and I have the pastel and the nature kit, but I was like, I want a more, more colors, I love those, and I've used them quite a lot, and I, want, I got burgundy, lilac, uh, black and then a white and then also got the ochre one uh, sapphire blue and then the canary so more like the basic because I got the pastel in the nature so I just wanted a few like yellow I also want a dark blue and then trying out the black and white and then these little bit darker ones I got that I also got uh, the Tombow Furunosuke an extra one in black, I use that one quite a lot. And an extra one in brown, I really like those. Then they had the, the Tombow uh, color pencils. And um, I just, uh, I didn't realize I only got <laughs> blue and green. <laughs> but I thought that could be really fun to try out. Um, they're really pretty, but they're very expensive, like to buy the full set. So I was like, and she had a really good price, um, like for the single one. So I was like, I'm going to try those out. So these are just pen loops in different colors. Uh, so these are the ones you stick down. So those are more permanent. But I really like this one. So this one is like a band with loops on it. So you can put it onto like either around the sketchbook or just a cover. And uh, I thought that was just brilliant. And you can move it from sketchbook to sketchbook. Now this is uh, A5. Um, but I think that would be really nice to have. So 
that's what I got from uh, Kate Fumiera. I will link that down below. Really good prices, good shipping, nice website. So if you're in Sweden, check that out. Okay, so I've set up to start to clean Helge. Then I will do Astrid, Belladonna. I have also bribed all the dogs. Uh, Albert is in the process of trying to steal the bribes from others, even though that's his one. But all the other dogs are being bribed, so I should be able to get like 25 minutes. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do in this vlog, it is prep for April shop update. That actually is happening tomorrow by the time you're watching this, because this time for May, the shop update is on Friday the 29th because I wanted to spice it up a little, you know? Uh, <laughs> I just hope it will fit a little bit better into the schedule of life, so to speak. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm just cleaning some paint. I'm going to wrap them later. Uh, and then I'm going to bring out the colors for this month, which is Belladonna and Helge, which you have already seen. But also Astrid and Harry will be back, as will uh, Yuan and Meta. Sensing a theme with the green, the black, the red. And it has all to do with two new products that I will have in the shop on Friday that I'm really excited about. I have been working on them for quite some time and I have just been longing to share them with you. And I hope you will like them too. Uh, and it's all Ladybird lucky clover inspired so i have a, a 30 millimeter wide washi tape which i am really excited about uh, it has a very very dark background with clovers four leaf clover regular clovers and then a lot of different ladybirds all over it i also have three patches embroidered patches that you can iron on so i have two ladybirds one just traditional where you can see the spots real well then I have one in mid-flight and then a four leaf clover because I kind of need all the good luck I can get <laughs> so yeah those are the new products for me I am so excited I am just really happy with how it turned out and here as you can see I am doing some I was going to say paintings but light doodles and I'm going to cut them out and use them uh, as props when I'm f photographing this month sort of promo images and I'm just so happy with them. I love how uh, Yuan and uh, Meta looks on top of darker colours and I just I feel like it's a really really cool set to have and I just love the theme of it so I hope you will like it too. Down below have a great day and uh, take care.